Welcome to my kitchen. When you think of healthy cooking, you often think you can't have pasta. In fact, we're often told that pasta is on the taboo list of starches and carbohydrates that we can't eat. Well, today I'm going to show you that you can. And the pasta can be heart healthy as well. It does take a bit of getting used to the different types of pastas we're going to use, but prepared right, it not only tastes great, it leaves you feeling very satisfied and provides many important nutrients. Let's get started. Well, today I'm going to mix spinach and whole wheat pasta. Today I'm going to use linguine, but you can use spaghetti or even angel hair for that matter. You know what? I went to the internet and I did a comparison of the nutrition facts on white pasta versus whole wheat and spinach pasta. The results were staggering. Did you know that white pasta has 123 grams of carbs per serving? No wonder they say pasta is like eating sugar. And white pasta has 3,042 milligrams sodium per serving. I couldn't believe that. Well, spinach pasta only has 14 grams of carbs, is very low in saturated fat, very low in sodium, with only 5 milligrams per serving. It's also a good source of manganese and selenium. Now let's talk about whole wheat pasta. It has 43 grams of carbs, is very low in saturated fat and cholesterol, and very low in sodium with only 5 milligrams per serving. It's also a good source of magnesium and a good source of manganese and selenium. So nutritionally, these are great choices. Well, I've already started my pasta cooking, but again, I mixed spinach and whole wheat. You can do either one. You can do, even do angel hair, whatever you like. Now, while that is going, I am going to get my broccoli going, because you see, I'm going to make you a heart-healthy whole grain pasta with steamed broccoli. I'm going to go ahead and get my pan heating. I like to have it nice and hot so that when I add my oil, then the things don't stick. That's a great tip that I learned. It's not quite hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and start preparing my broccoli. Now, I like to use broccoli caps. So you'll chop off those tough stock part. We're just going to use the caps. And what we're going to do is separate these just into serving size pieces like that. And I think by now, my pan ought to be hot enough to so I can start sauteing for you. Now that feels better. If it's not hot enough, it just doesn't seem to work just right. I'm going to add my olive oil, about two tablespoons, but you can adjust that at home to what works for the pan you're using and the quantity that you have. Just kind of move that around. It smokes a little bit. You may need to turn it down. That's just about perfect. Now we're going to add some red onions. I sliced these very thin because in this dish, it works really, really good that way. Then I'm going to let those saute, and these are actually a really sweet onion. Good phytonutrients as well. I'm going to add some garlic. Onions and garlic are so good for you. You're going to want to turn these to coat in the oil and let those cook three to five minutes or so, just till they're good and translucent. Then we're going to add our broccoli. Again, we're just going to take this broccoli and cut it into serving size chunks so it's really kind of big. I like to just lay that then on top of the broccoli, of the uh, pasta when we're done so you'll see that that's really a good way to do it. Now we'll start adding these broccoli pieces, they're spears if you will, just a little at a time like that. And then we'll turn those coat. So we want to get the oil on all sides of the broccoli. There we go. Broccoli is so healthy. You know, let's get that coated. And you might want to do this um, a little bit ahead as well, which you certainly can. We'll add just a few more pieces. I like this one better. Now, the broccoli is one of the superfoods that we know. It is just so healthy. Now, that's good and coated. So we'll get 
You know, I went and did the nutrition facts on broccoli. While I'm adding this mushroom, I would love to tell you about that because broccoli is one of the foods that is the healthiest for us. Not only is it low in saturated fat and cholesterol, it's a good source of protein, thiamine, riboflavin, calcium, iron, phosphorus, selenium, the list goes on and on. It's such a good source of dietary fiber, and you won't believe the antioxidants. Vitamins A, C, K, B6, folate, potassium. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. It's just wonderful. Okay, that's looking really good. So to this, do you remember a couple of weeks ago, we did a golden vegetable stock on the show? Well, if you didn't see that show, you can go to yourhealthtv.com for the recipe. It's a great stock recipe. You're going to want to have that in your kitchen. We're going to add two cups of that golden vegetable stock. Now, if you don't have stock, you can use water in this dish, and it works just as well. Oh, that looks, ooh, it smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. We're going to do a little sea salt. Remember why we use sea salt? It's not refined like those salts you get in conventional grocery stores. Add a little pepper. Now, we're going to turn down our heat to a low simmer. We're just going to kind of mix it around a little bit. It's looking beautiful. And we're going to cover that and let it simmer about 10 to 12 minutes. Now, while that's simmering, I'm going to need to get my pine nuts toasting because, you see, I'm going to add protein to my dish today by topping it with some uh, pine nuts. So I'm just going to get ready over here, move these things about. You simply take a baking sheet, spray it with a little olive oil, just like that, and thinly spread out your pine nuts. Just sprinkle them on it and toast them in a 325 oven for approximately five minutes and they'll just be good and crispy. So we'll just kind of spread those out good and put them in the oven down here and get those going. Good. Now, while that's done, let's check on our pasta. What do you say? Oh, that's looking good. You know, pasta is so healthy, but for years I didn't eat it because I thought I couldn't. And then I went to the research and discovered that, hey, I can. I'm so glad. All right, that's looking good. You know, adding pine nuts is a neat way to get some extra nutrients that you may not have thought about in your diet. Uh, the pine nuts are a good source of iron and protein. Can you believe that? All right, we are ready to serve up our pasta. This is going to be great. Turn down that oven. All right, here goes. We're just going to drain it. At home, of course, it's a good idea to do this in your sink, but this will work great. That's what's so neat about these dishes and these pots and pans they have today. This works just really good. We'll just simply drain it, and we're going to put it into a large pasta bowl. And then we're going to toss it with some olive oil so it won't stick together. There you go. Oh, it's looking good. Take a little of your olive oil and just kind of put around it like that. And then I'll toss it up really good. And you know, it's not only delicious, but it's colorful, and it's a good way to get the family eating healthfully. Mmm, doesn't that look good? Now by now, I better check on those pine nuts. What do you say? Because they should be about done. Let's move our things out of the way here. And We'll get our pasta dish all ready for the table, and we better get out a hot pad and check on those pine nuts. Oh my goodness, they're looking just great. Look at that, they're so crispy, nice and brown. So, what you're going to do now to serve up this dish, you're going to put it in a large pasta bowl or a dinner plate. We'll take our pasta bowl. Get a nice big serving. You know, this is something that can be an entire meal. It's a good idea. Get a nice big dark green leafy salad. You can top this with a variety of toppings. Some people like butter. Some people like Parmesan. Well, that is just beautiful. Okay. We'll put that on our plate. Now, we are going to scoop up some of these pine nuts. And we'll just sprinkle those over it, just like that. Oh, how pretty. A little Parmesan. 
This is a good dish that you can serve also with your whole grain breads. If you're on a yeast-free diet, you can use uh, spelt, flatbread. Any of those options are really good. Isn't that just beautiful for a good, healthy dinner? Oh my goodness, that is just lovely. You know, cooking healthy is so much fun. I just love Italian food. And I'm glad there are nutritious ways we can incorporate these dishes into healthy cooking. And you saw it today with all the antioxidants, phytonutrients, macronutrients and minerals. This dish is great. Well, let's put a little bit of broccoli on that and let everyone see just how delicious it can be. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's looking good, looking good. We'll get that broccoli. How about a nice big spear like that? Maybe some mushrooms. A little onion. And oh, it is good. Well, for a copy of this delicious recipe, you log on to yourhealthtv.com, print it off and enjoy. Thank you so much for being with me today. And don't go away, because we'll be right back.